Most Android devices out there do have an expiration date after which the manufacturers or OEM like Samsung, Nokia, Vivo, Oppo doesn't support their devices very well after that. So the only option you have after this is to get your a new operating system for your device, let's say Android 14, 15. So there may be devices which are still stuck on Android 10, for example, but those devices can be upgraded to Android 15 beta. So let's see how to do it. Now, first and foremost, you need uh, an Android device which is at least on Android 8, and those devices will be supporting Google Treble. So what Google Treble means is you'll be able to try on new OS whenever it comes out. Uh, it won't be a completely stable version, but you still will be able to uh, go through each and every features. This is mainly meant for developers, but if you are in any need, let's say if you want to get your OS updated for some reason, not just for testing, you can do this and it's free, anyone can do it. The only requirement is you need to have a PC and of course an Android device that's supporting Android 8 or above. Now let's see how to do it. Now first of all you need to make sure that USB debugging is enabled on your device and your device is rooted. Not essentially but still it's a plus and then you need to ensure that your device is bootloader unlocked. Now that is a tedious process. It takes a hell of a new video to make it so I'm not covering that section in this same video and uh, after you have ensured those three points that i have told right now then after that you need to ensure that you're getting the appropriate gsi builds for your device and gsi builds are uh, does seem a bit complicated but trust me it's not that complicated all you need to do is to make sure which architecture your system is currently working on so my device right here is a motorola moto g52 which runs on android 13 for the moment and it runs on architecture 64 now all i have to do is go to this site and then make sure that i'm downloading the same architecture version present on the site after you download that version you extract that onto your pc now you will also be needing a custom recovery just in case if something goes wrong and custom recovery will help you in terms when let's say the fast food isn't working now we'll get to that part but that is something that you might want to check out initially now let's say you already have a custom recovery installed on your system then in that case you just need to go into custom recovery wipe the entire data and the user data there you might want to delete the system also the system os also and then you need to flash the system img file which you'll be getting from the gsi builds which i have just mentioned before now those will be a zip file if you extract that zip files you'll be getting the system.img uh, vbmetadata.img you just need to make sure that system.img is correctly flashed onto your device now how to flash it it's pretty simple if you know the basis of fastboot or adb you'll be able to figure it out in a matter of seconds now just need to place that same file the system.img file into the root or the folder where you have the fastboot or the platform tools configured and then you need to boot into the fast boot mode and flash the system image there now after that it's pretty straightforward just need to reboot the device and afterwards the system will take a bit of time to get everything sorted out and in a matter of let's say five or ten minutes you'll be having your gsa builds booted up and good for action and uh, that's it that's pretty much it but this is the hard way of doing a gsi builds onto your device now if you have uh, a trouble getting all these through or if you want to find a faster way through but note it won't be this permanent it might get affected the next time you reboot your device after you do the process but that is also a way that you might want to consider now that is a way that's inbuilt in all android devices you just need to go unlock developer mode for your android device and i'm sure most of you will be aware of that uh, method you just need to tap on the build number in your settings five or six times and developer mode will be unlocked and afterwards you just need to uh, go into your developer mode and inside of the developer mode there will be an option like dsu loader click on that option and you'll be presented with two or three maybe five options and choose the appropriate builds it will take about five or ten minutes depending upon your internet speed it will download a file into your already existing device and it will right away flash it onto your uh, separate partition onto your device now that essentially will allow you to take a look of android 15 or 14 or whatever for the matter and you can just try play around with a new operating system without, without losing your data as well as your 
previously stable build now do note one thing gsa builds are not that stable they are more more like the nightly build so they won't be they cannot be used for your daily purposes but for the most part they can give you a new life to your old device let's say which is stuck on android 10 or 11 which cannot be probably updated not officially supported anymore by the oem or even the custom rom community so in that case it is a great option to, to actually try around the gsr roms and uh, yeah that's it for this quick and easy video now this is a bit uh, technical process it might take you some time to get used to but once you get used to it you can pretty much flash the gsr builds on any device out there you just need to uh, make sure that you're processing or you're following the same way that i have conveyed in this video and uh, you'll be good to go